Welcome everyone. Welcome to the stockswoosh.com. I am here today to announce and introduce a new and exciting course. It's a class that a lot of people have been asking me to write for the last few months and I finally decided to do it. So this is very exciting and I hope everyone else is going to be excited too. If you'd like more information on the upcoming class, please feel free to email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. You can go to Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Pinterest, or Skype and add me to any one of the places there. And feel free to contact me if you'd like more information about the upcoming course. So the class is on entries. It's on entries. It's on entries and how to take a trade. And so it's just like if you were walking through this door to the other side, you were entering through the door. You don't know what's on the other side of the door. You have no idea. It looks green. It looks beautiful. It looks fantastic. It's just like when you take a trade. You take a trade and you're going into it with high expectations of the trade working and for you to make money and be profitable. And you need to learn what to do. So this is a course focused on intraday entries. Learn how to accurately take a position in a stock and properly size it. Learn where and how to do ads to the position to maximize profitability and trading gains. And this is a class by me, Melissa Arma. So I always like to start with a quote. Choose a job you love and you will never have to work a day in your life. <laughs> this is a quote by Confucius. And boy, is this true. You know, ever since I started trading, which I absolutely love, and now teaching and trading, and I love them both, you know, it's really made a huge impact on my life to, to the better. And so if you're in a career or job right now and you don't love it and you want to learn how to trade, you've got to start from somewhere. It really makes a difference when you do something for a living that you enjoy. And no, sometimes it's not something that can be changed overnight, but it is something that can be changed and it can be changed through time. And if you want to trade successfully in the market, if this is really what you want to do, then you need to learn how to do it right. And boy, it's a lot of fun when you know how to do it right. It's a lot of fun. So in the class, we're going to talk about entries and stocks. And here's one example of a gap that happened. This was ARO back on August 23rd, 2013. And it's one of these ones where really, if you didn't know how to take the entry in this, you might have done the completely opposite and reverse thing. A lot of people were looking to buy this gap. They were looking for an entry to go long, but the entry was to go short, not to go long in here. And there actually was no proper long entry in here at all. The entry was short and there was a proper short entry in this stock this day. No proper long entry. There are proper entries and there are improper entries. So this is a great example of something where someone might want to do the exact opposite and might be looking and looking and desperately trying to just pick, pick, pick something in here to buy it. And there was no buy in here. There was no buy the whole day. The stock closed even week into the close of the day against the market. So it's one of these things where this was never a buy. Not one second on the day was the stock a buy on the 23rd. It's about having a level of commitment to the trade. Like if you ask someone to marry you or tell someone that you love them or actually marry someone and go through that level of commitment. There is a level of commitment being in love with someone and being in a relationship and there's a level of commitment to your trades that's required to be successful. And part of this has to do with sizing and part of it has to do with where you're taking the entry and it has to be defined. Because if you don't know what you're doing and you're not really committed to it, then how can you possibly expect positive results in your trade, which in the case of trading is to make money? It's about having the right decision. One of the biggest issues facing traders is a decision on their entry in a trading position. People really don't know where they're supposed to enter. They really don't know. They don't have any idea where they're supposed to get in and they can't decide Okay, and the second biggest issue is how much risk they want to take in the trading position. Again, indecision. Indecision all over the place leads to no decision or incorrect decisions or failure. If you want to be successful, then you have to make the decision and it has to be the correct decisions with a thought process. So this needs to be defined and it needs to be defined clearly. The decision, the decision to enter. Take away the anxiety of where to enter a trade by learning how so you're not stressed out and worried and as soon as you press the button you don't know what to do and you almost kill it as soon as you're up anything because you don't even know if you have the right entry 
and then you have to take it off. And then the trade goes on to run and work, and you could have made a lot more money, and you killed it for no reason other than anxiety. So you can have less losses with more focus. When you are focused on what to do and know what to do, then you're going to have less losses because you are going to have a defined entry and know exactly what you're supposed to be doing and a defined level of sizing position risk. Many people, if they're not focused, have no idea how much they're risking. They press the button. They don't know how much size they have. And all of a sudden, if the trade goes on and fails, they lose money more than they want to because they weren't focused at all on their position sizing. This is very important. You know, every position is not sized the same. This is a fact. And every position cannot be sized the same if you want your risk to be defined. So you have to have your risk be defined. Again, the focus on this. There's more money to be made in the market when you have the right entry because you're going to get in at the top if you want to short something or get in at the bottom if you want to go long something. You're getting in with the best price you possibly can. Now, this does not mean getting on in the open. It means getting in when the trade sets up with the correct entry. Sometimes it's the beginning of the day. Sometimes it's a little bit later. You've got to learn when. There is more money to be made, though, if you understand what the right entry is. Again, it all comes back to the information. The information, the high quality and the level of information. Success comes with having the information of what to do. And to be honest with you, trading is one of these things that if you don't have the information, knowing what to do, it's very challenging to be successful. If it, if, if it didn't require a certain high level of information to be successful as a trader, everyone would be successful trading the market. And as you know, that's not the case. So who are the people that are successful trading the market? People that know what to do. People that have the right information. So it all comes around to this, the right knowledge, the right information. And how to use price information with precision. This is something that I'm extremely good at doing. And actually, my skills are becoming more defined, more improved. And, and I don't think anyone can ever get to the point where they are never improving. And, you know, it's one of these things where it, I'm looking at my trades almost under a microscope. It's like there was a little cellular amoeba on the tray. And I'm looking at the stock and looking at the chart and looking at the price and defining it and examining it and seeing it through a microscope with precision to determine my entry. Remember, time is vital in entries. If you wait, if you hesitate, if you don't know what to do, if you don't take it, you could miss it and the stock could drop a dollar and you don't get any of the move. So time is vital. And again, you have to know what to be looking for. You've got to know what to look for. And we're also going to talk about in the class examining position sizing because this is one of these things that people are back and forth about. Position sizing this way, that way, you really have to know exactly what to look for and how to position size yourself so that your risk is defined. It can't be all over the place. That's not proper trading. You need to define your risk, write it down, and this is something that needs to be same or similar with most of your trades. So calculated risk requires preparation. And, you know, risk is something that is part of trading the market. This is one of these things that's part of it. However, you can make your risk calculated risk. And how do you do that? Learning getting the right information, preparation ahead of time. I get up in the morning, prepare way ahead before the market opens and as much as I can before the trade sets up. And then of course I'm prepared with the right information, knowing what to do by studying my charts and learning what I learned way before so that in live time I know what to do and I can pounce on it and grab the cheese just like this guy here. So start getting specific instead of having a fat finger in the keyboard. A lot of people just have these fat fingers where they're taking entries willy-nilly um, and they're taking too much size without knowing where the entry is really supposed to be or having to find stop um, or just fat fingering it all over the place and you just can't do that. And trading is not like playing a computer game. It feels like it to some people, especially if you're doing it day after day or hours after hours, you forget, but there's live money involved and you can't forget. You can't forget and you can't have a fat finger. So in the class, I'm also going to discuss money management. One of these important tools, one of these important things that has to be 
uh, talked about and everybody needs to adhere to. It's not like anyone doesn't have to adhere to this. Any trader in any level, no matter what amount of money they're risking, has to have a money management plan and has to adhere to this. Whether you have a little bit of money or a lot of money, you have a defined amount that you were trading with a certain amount of money and a certain amount of buying power and you need to have money management. And there's no one that doesn't need this. Even people that are running big money need this. No one has an unlimited amount per day that they have in, in their account. They have certain rules and requirements that, and a structure that they have to follow. Everyone on every level. The levels are different, of course, but everyone has it. This is one of these things that's the same for everybody because it needs to be there. It needs to be part of the infrastructure. So there is a lot of money to be made in entries in the market in gap trading and day trading. And it's one of these things that you just have to learn how to get into it. Here was Microsoft. Microsoft here had this beautiful gap down here. Again, where to take it. Here's another one, Facebook. Beautiful gap up in Facebook. Look at this amazing gap up in Facebook. Again, where to take it. And here was another gap in Crest. Look, there's actually so many gaps in Crest. Look at this one, and this one over here, and this one over here. Again, where's the entry? Where's the entry? Where's the entry? Have to know how to take these things. Entry should not be taken like a bet at a casino. It shouldn't be like you're just pressing buttons and you know, hoping or wishing or praying that the entry is correct. You have to have a certain level of confidence and conviction that you know what you're doing, that you can take it and press it, and it's there. And a lot of people actually think this has a lot to do with support and resistance. They play, uh, you know, support and resistance, and that is not actually an, an entry per se. Support and resistance are things that can help you learn how to read charts and levels in a stock on a chart based on technical analysis. But if you're just taking buys on support or shorts into resistance, you're going to find that they don't work more than 50% of the time. There has to be more going on in there because there's multiple levels of resistance and there's multiple levels of support in a trade. And if you want to get in something and want to get a move in it, what I call a move in something to get paid, a momentum move, you really do have to get the entry right. So learn what the right thing is to do, like going to school, going to the library, reading a book, taking a class like the entry class is one of these things where you're learning the right thing to do in your entries. Also going to discuss in the class risk to reward. Where are you taking a trade? How much are you risking? What is the framework or infrastructure in the chart for taking the position? Have you defined your risk in the trade? Have you defined your risk? This must be defined. And, and in looking at risk to reward, you want to make more than one to one. People that trade that make just one to one, it is not sufficient. It does not cover the cost of trading. You need to have a good risk to reward in your trades when you're taking the entry. So having the right infrastructure is something that is very, very important. It's very, very important. And again, people don't realize this. People don't realize this when they're taking entries. This is why they lack confidence and lack conviction. And as soon as they're up money, they take the trade off. You know, or as soon as they're down, they take it off. As soon as they're down a little bit, they take it off. Or as soon as they take it, they're down a lot. Uh, you know, you have to have the right infrastructure. So look at the bigger picture. What's the bigger picture? You want to be happy. You want to trade. You want to be successful. You don't want to have anxiety. You want to be in love with what you do. You might want to do this for a living. You might not. But either way, you want to do it well. So some people really want to trade for income for a full-time job. Some people want to trade for an income for a part-time job. Some people want to trade for an income for long-term retirement. It doesn't matter. If you're trading for income on any level, you actually want to be profitable and have you know the money flowing into you. Coming in, the flow is in towards you and your account from the market to your account. Then you need to learn how to take the right entries. And also, in order to have longevity and consistency in the market in your trading, you do need to learn how to enter positions correctly. You're not going to get around this. This is one of these things that you're just not going to get around this. You can go on and on and on and on and on, but you're gonna, it's always going to come back around to this if you don't have your entries correct. So conviction in your entries helps you stay on track with your trading. It helps you stay on track. You get into the position. You have conviction, you take the entry, 
and you know what to do. It helps you stay on track with your trading and not deviate, not deviate off path, which is problematic for people when they're all over the place trying to decide what size should they take and where should they enter the trade. So if you want to make money trading, then detail is required and there is a detail required in taking entries. So the class is on entries and it is a class focused on entries and gaps. The date is September 17th and 18th from 1 o'clock to 6 o'clock Eastern Time. The cost of the class is $1,800. Email me at melissa at the stockswish.com if you are interested in signing up for this course. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming. Have a wonderful day. And if you're interested in the new Stock Swoosh class on entries, email me at melissa at the stockswoosh.com. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.